Hi there, and assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to remove the freckles from the face of this model here in Photoshop. So let's get started. The reason why I don't want to start with spot healing brushes because these freckles are pretty dark and the final outcome using a spot healing brush wouldn't really be very satisfactory. Although eventually we'll have to use it, but let's learn the other necessary steps we need to take before that. So first of all, let's duplicate this layer by dragging it to the create new layer button. Alternatively, you can also hit command J on a Mac or control J on a PC to duplicate the layer. All right, now with the top layer selected, go to filter and then blur. And under blur, go to surface blur. And from the pop-up menu, change the radius to about 40 pixels and uh, threshold to about 30, 35 pixels, depending upon your image. And uh, you shall find that the image has already started to look a lot better as far as freckles are concerned. All right, once out of surface blur, make another duplicate of this layer you were working on, either using Command-J on a Mac or Control-J on a PC, or drag it to the Create New Layer button. Now with the topmost layer selected, go to Filter and then Noise and under Noise select Dust and Scratches. From the pop-up menu, update the radius to 18 pixels and threshold to about 3 levels and hit OK. With the same layer selected, go to Filter once again and select Blur and this time select Gaussian Blur. Keep your radius to around uh, 10 pixels before hitting OK. Now with the same layer selected, reduce the opacity to somewhere between 55 and 60. All right. Now holding the Command key on a Mac or Control key on a PC, select the top two layers and right click them and select Group from Layers option. You can rename it to anything of your choice. I'm going to let it stay Group 1. Now double click on group one folder and from the pop-up menu go to underlying layer and holding option on a Mac or Alt on a PC. When you click on the white slider it will split into two. So drag the piece on the left to the point where the face starts to get clearer. On this image I'll keep it to 193 and then hit OK. Now with the group one layer selected, click on add a mask button at the bottom of the layers panel and you'll find a white mask appearing right next to the group one folder. Now we need to select this mask and go to edit and then fill and from the pop-up menu in the contents, select black as your fill color so that your mask changes from white to black. The moment you hit OK, you'll find that the original image reveals itself with all the freckles as intact as it was earlier. So with the black mask selected, ensure that your foreground color is white and click on the brush tool. We need the normal soft brush here with 100% opacity and 100% flow on top. And slowly brush over the freckles, ensuring that you don't remove any shadows or highlights or even the facial features. As you brush over the freckles, you'll find those portions turning white on the mask in the layers panel. Also, for corners and curves, please ensure to adjust your brush size. To make your brush size bigger, keep pressing right bracket a few times and similarly left bracket will reduce the size of the brush. You need to be extra careful with the shadows around her nose and highlights around the eyes, nose and mouth because if you remove them, the same image is going to start looking horrible and that's one thing we don't really want. Alright, for the area around her nose, I'd like to use the spot healing brush tool. So let's create another layer by clicking on the create a new layer button at the bottom of the layers panel. And with this new layer selected, I'm going to grab the spot healing brush tool and remove the rest of the spots around her eyes and nose. I repeat, be very careful when you're using a tool like this around the facial region that has shadows, highlights or facial features so as to not remove them accidentally. Like I said earlier, had we used the spot healing brush tool from the beginning, skipping the steps that we discussed earlier, the result would have been completely different. 
I'm going to put the link in the description for this image for you to download and practice along. I want you to try using the spot healing brush straight away and compare the difference between the two. Okay, so that's the original image. And that's after our state-of-the-art freckles removal procedure. What do you think? Do share your thoughts in the comments. Alright guys, that concludes our session today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again on Friday, goodbye and thanks for watching.